Hey women of Reddit. What are some romantic gestures guys do that completely melt your heart? Making reservations. It sounds simple and stupid, but making reservations is incredibly sexy. It shows you planned for our night ahead of time, and we're thinking about us. This. I took a girl out one night, as we pull up to the restaurant. It's packed out. As in, maybe 10 to 15 people outside. She says to me, it's full let's go somewhere else. I told her no I should be fine. So, I take her hand and confidence stroll past everyone, and tell the hosts all cartel, to at 7, and we get seated. Man, her face was priceless. 10, 10 would do again. Edit auto correct. In December I moved from the US to the UK, to live with my boyfriend. He has been traveling for work for the past 2 weeks in Italy, and now he's in Barcelona for 2 more weeks. It's been really lonely here without him, and yesterday was the first day I actually felt a little homesick. I told him I was feeling blue, and he told me go look in the laptop pocket of my old rucksack. And when I opened it up, this card was in there link it's the little things. That is so adorable. It really was incredibly adorable so adorable, that I had a little cry, after I read it haha. <laughs> For context I only felt homesick, because I made what Americans call pigs in blankets, which are sausages wrapped in dough, it's one of my childhood, comfort foods, but in the UK pigs in blankets refers to sausages wrapped in bacon, so I was making my American pigs in blankets, and drinking a bit of wine and sent pictures to all my friends here in the UK and they all jokingly made fun of my American food. But with the wine and the bit of loneliness, I got weirdly emotional, and started thinking I'll never fit in in the UK. I'm too American. I'll always call things by the wrong name, and get made fun of. I'll never be able, to not say y'all. It was just a bit of an overreaction on my part. But when I read that card, everything was okay again. The smallest of gestures can make a world of difference. I was in Chicago for work, and met a guy. We went on one lovely date. But because I didn't lie there and neither of us wanted to do long distance, we really never pursued a relationship. That was 3 years ago, and he still sends me a postcard from everywhere he goes. It always makes my day to receive a nice postcard from him in the mail. Do you ever send one back? Absolutely. I've sent some from my travels as well. Anything that proves he actually pays attention when I talk. Even the most random. Offhand things. Our first Valentine's Day my fiance gave me herb plants. Because I had mentioned I wanted to start growing my own. But kept putting off doing it. Because I was so busy. He literally babied a bunch of seeds he had potted for me in secret for weeks. Because he remembered that I wasn't big on flowers. And had made an offhand comment once about how I should start growing mint instead of buying it. It wasn't an elaborate gift or anything but something so thoughtful was the sweetest thing ever. He still sometimes gets blowjobs for it just because. Not gonna lie. Forehead kisses for sure. Nose kisses for the win. I love being pet. Play with my hair. Rub my back. Stroke my cheek with your thumb when we kiss. Run your fingers along my arm while we watch a movie. Just pet me. I'm pretty sure I was a dog in a past life, because it makes me so damn happy. Nice try dog. Remembered an offhand comment about what Gatorade I like. The fridge never runs low on it now. Yeah. Generally remembering things you say, and following up on them in some way, is the single most heart melting thing a guy can do. I dunno but I was really upset last night depression is a bitch laying in bed, and my partner decided to try and cheer me up by putting his penis in my ear. It worked. I laughed super hard then got out of bed and we played GTA. I mean, is that romantic? I dunno. When they make time for you and exclusively you, they don't have any other agendas. Even if it's just sitting there and him listening to your boring ass day at work, or if you're lying in bed just spouting shit and making each other laugh. Things like that melt my heart, because I feel like they're interested in me and my life. Okay, so story time. I'm with a guy who isn't really a romantic speaker. It isn't easy for him to speak about his feelings, and I respect that. But when we met, he's the most delicate person ever. 
showing me so much love and affection. So much tenderness. That it makes me feel soft. Only when I think about it. Also. He always shows me that he would do literally everything if I needed something. He takes care of me. From someone who is ball of cookie dough tender. Do you mind me asking how tenderness affects the sexual relationship? Media always makes it seem like dominance is a sexual requirement of sorts. Is this just not true? Or is there a large body size difference in your case? Or something? Just a bit confused. I think a large part of it comes down to emotional labor. I have a guy friend who at one point equated niceness tenderness with being a passenger letting your partner have their way. Just whatever you want darling to every question. Where do we go for dinner? Wherever you want. Darling. What movie should we watch? Whatever you want darling. Eventually, each of his girlfriends would tire of having to make every decision and end it. He would bemoan that he was too nice and the cycle would repeat. What he didn't grok is that niceness tenderness should be more of an active thing. Like remembering your girlfriend's favorite restaurant and suggesting you go there. Or taking initiative and planning something cool. It should be an effort, not just passive playability. My view is that a soft underbelly is fine. In fact my waifu has the softest underbelly, but you have to have some sort of spine. And enough agency to be assertive sometimes. That's not a man thing particularly more of an equal partner thing. For what it's worth, a woman who is a ball of indecisive goo is equally unattractive as a partner. Does that help any? I have always wanted a guy to do like a picnic of some sort. Points if it's at night, because I like the dark, and I like to look at the stars. I did this with my wife for one of our first real dates. She thought it was tacky and a stereotypical white guy thing to do she's Hispanic. She made fun of me the whole time. Don't care I still like picnics. Get to know what your lady friend likes. People love talking about themselves. My husband does a sweet thing where he saves up money to buy me the set of force of wills from a card game I love because I'm trying to build a vintage deck. It's not about what specifically it is. It's about listening and proving you know her and care and out the things she tells you and out. Flowers. You don't have to buy a dozen red roses. Buy the discount special flowers for 2.99. They are just as beautiful. And the thought is what counts. Similarly, anything that makes her feel special. If you notice she loves elephants and the color blue. Maybe get her a little blue elephant pencil top a stuffed animal picture that you drew. The fact that you noticed what she likes. It's what's important when trying to impress. When I've asked some questions casually. Like what have you been thinking about a lot. And the answer is unexpectedly totally romantic. Like you. TBF I think it's pretty easy for us boyfriends to do that. I've got a lot of shit on my mind and often get lost in thought about random things. Like why lampshades exist instead of having a shirt for a light bulb. But if my girl asks me that question I can immediately pop into BF mode and go I've been thinking about how cute you are or how your booty looks in those jeans and get a big smile. Sometimes we just gotta tell you what you want to hear more than what's actually going on. Not that I think it's dishonest. Or a bad thing. This will get buried. But I feel like I should share. My dad had a stroke recently. Thankfully it was relatively minor. And he's well on the up and up. One of the major issues he's been having though. Is with not being able to shave it was his right hand. That was most affected. He's a very proud man and used to take very good care of his appearance. After years in the corporate mining world, he'd gotten used to upholding a particular look. Very respectable dude. So, after being bedridden in the hospital for two weeks, he was sporting quite a grizzly beard. And he hated it. Hated. It. Unfortunately, my brother had decided to take off on a ski trip, so there wasn't anyone to give my dad a hand with taming his facial fur. I offered. But being a lady, Electric razors are something of mystery to me. Q boyfriend. He comes to pick me up from the hospital last weekend. And my dad asks if he'd be able to help him shave without hesitating. My boyfriend lights up and tells him sure thing. No problem. Just like that. Helps my pa into a wheelchair. Brings all of his shaving paraphernalia into the bathroom. And proceeds to help my dad shave there chatting. My boyfriend is asking my dad if it looks okay. If he wants a little more off the 
sides. Meanwhile I'm in the corner simultaneously tending to an exploding heart and a waterfall of tears. So, that, that melted my heart. Honestly, cooking together. I'm terrible at cooking, and if a guy showed me a recipe he found, and wanted to cook with me, super sweet. Also recommending songs or movies or books, referencing a previous conversation, like this song you might like, because you told me you liked so and so, and it's super similar, just because it shows that he's thinking of me, and remembered that convo and what I liked. A couple of years ago a girl I was dating told me to clear Valentine's Day weekend. I would not be available that entire weekend. But apparently I didn't need to pack as we would be coming home every evening. The day we were supposed to leave, she picked me up from the auto shop I was getting something done to my car and told me to put a blindfold on. When she finally told me I could take it off, we were at a McDonald's in the middle of nowhere. I knew which town we were headed towards because I have an amazing sense of direction most of the time but was super confused since it was quite a drive to get there. Turns out. She booked a hotel room in a semi nearby resort town and had my mom pack some clothes and essentials for me for the weekend. It was an absolutely fantastic weekend. Only made better by the fact that it was a total surprise. From men in general colleagues, friends, strangers, etc. Being polite, considerate a gentleman to everyone, not just the pretty waitress, but the old lady opening the heavy door, says hi to the janitor and dress groom in a way that shows they care about themselves and polite society. And when I realize they get me, I got them already. I'm endeared for life and will be a loyal friend. As for my husband, he tries to make me happy by taking care of household repairs himself to save money, doing the grocery shopping, and removing sad things so I won't see them dead birds and critters. This is what makes me know he's trying and melts my heart. This guy took off my coat, put it on the chair, and pulled out the chair for me at a restaurant. It took me a moment to suddenly realize that no other guy has ever done that for me. Same guy. This is not traditionally romantic. But I love it when guys are a bit aggressive towards the end of a date. I asked him what his plans were after dinner and he said, get another drink with you. Then go to a hotel and duck your brains out. I blushed so hard and still look upon that moment with fondness same guy told me to pack a couple changes of clothes and meet him at this street corner it was a surprise road trip okay maybe i'm catching feelings edit some people are saying the bold move only works when the guy is super attractive for me it seriously makes any guy more attractive not less some people do not enjoy the bold move and it will worsen the situation unless they already really like the person so as with anything else Try to read your interaction partner. Same guy. This is not traditionally romantic. But I love it when guys are a bit aggressive towards the end of a date. I asked him what his plans were after dinner and he said. Get another drink with you. Then go to a hotel and duck your brains out. I blushed so hard and still look upon that moment with fondness. Yeah. This is one of those only works when it works things. My boyfriend and I went through a slump not taking care of each other, and not communicating and it nearly broke us. We are now focusing on each other, and just doing lots of little things, that show we care. We buy each other drinks at work. Sometimes he makes me a cup of tea in the morning, so I don't have to get out of bed. I leave clean pajamas waiting for, when he gets home from work. He cooks me dinner, and listens to me talk about my day. We text each other funny images we've seen all day. It's all about the little things, to show that you think about each other. Hands down. When he cooks for me. When he pulls me clothes and dances with me. When he wraps me up into his arms. Digs his face into my hair. And holds me for a while. Remembering a passing comment I made about a song that I like. Practicing it. And then playing it for me out of the blue. The times that he comes to pick me up. He waits for me standing outside of his car. Facing the direction that I usually come down from. It's so cute to just see him leaning against his car. And when he sees me, his face lights up. And he starts walking towards me. I can't help but to smile right back. Great way to start a date. When talking casually to other people. Calls me my girl. 
turns me into a goddamn puddle. Also during heavy makeout sessions. Stops and kisses my cheeks and forehead. Then goes back at it. Don't know why, but it's just the cutest thing ever. My fiance likes to bake. But our kitchen is weensy. So he doesn't do it much. Sometimes. If I'm having a bad day at work. He'll make muffins or soft pretzels and tie it so they are warm and ready to eat when I get home. Makes me melt every single time. Not always the big stuff like buying roses etc. Combing my hair. Stroking my legs etc. While we watch TV. Playing with my hair. Remembering things that I like movies. A song etc. I was in one of those cinemas with beds. And it was winter. My feet were bare and my date asked if I was cold. I said yes. And he put his jacket over them. Instant lady boner and I melted. Was casually dating a guy. My birthday was 3 weeks from when we'd started seeing each other. So I didn't expect him to get me anything we just got lunch on Tuesday like usual. This kid pulls out a bag and goes I got you a present. He got me a book I'd mentioned I wanted to read two weeks ago and hadn't brought up again since. He also made me some sweets because you said they were easy to make and I wanted to try. That was the second I knew. I remember thinking, oh no this one isn't getting away. Still seeing each other. Honeymooning like crazy he's mine now. There's so much more. I could gush so much. But I won't. Too long didn't read listening to what we say and remembering. I really appreciate handmade stuff. My ex-boyfriend once planned the entire network stuff in the next apartment we'd move into though we never did move in together again. He planned the cable management. He thought about network storage. We fee spots and wireless access to everything. He wasn't particularly crafty. And at first I thought of it as really nerdy. But then I realized that it was actually pretty sweet. It was the only thing he could do for me. At that moment. Using the skills he had. And it proved he thought about our future. I also got a little painting from a FWB. Hangs on my wall right now. Oh. Reddit. I just remembered that story that happened a few months back. This just melted my heart. Like wholesome mean style. So I'm walking in a busy street with two people a couple. My clients. I'm a realtor in a big city. She's about 8 months pregnant and looks wonderful. Actually they both look ridiculously happy together. At some point. The guy lets her walk a few steps ahead of us. And comes to me. Points at a shop further down the road. Far enough that she didn't notice it at first. And whispers something like check this out. Speaking to her. He goes sweetheart. Would you like to eat something? Which triggers some semi kidding. Pregnant woman shitstorm. She goes boy. How unconsiderate can you be? I mean. I just told you this very morning. How fat I think I'm right now she's curvy as a pregnant woman can be. And that suits her grandly. And how much I look like a cow man. She stops speaking very suddenly. Doesn't even finish her sentence. She's seen the shop. The ass hat on my right is already cracking up. You did that on purpose. Didn't you? She asks. Her voice full of threats. Did what? My love. He replies. Barely able to keep from bursting in laughter I was listening to you. Dear, how you feel, like you're an elephant and everything. I think she said cow, I interrupt playfully. You said cow, she definitely said cow. She finally turns around to us, points her index to me, and absolutely yells her ass out like who the bloody darn duck cares what that one thinks I said. If you're not back here in 5 minutes with the biggest slice of pie of that whole goddamn bakery she points at the shop behind her with her thumb. I'm asking for a divorce right here and now. And I'm keeping the kid. You irresponsible idiot. Yes my love. Right away my love. When she was done devouring half a meringue lemon pie. He asked her if she still loved him. She acted like she had to think about it for a good 5 seconds. And kissed him on the forehead. Before answering you're my favorite idiot in the world. Too long didn't read food seems to be one good way. To earn a woman's heart. Also. That whole bloody story and how it made my week gets me thinking I'm corny as duck. Edit format.